Hello and welcome to this video on how to fix a negative Cronbachs alpha. My name is Christian Geiser, I'm an instructor with Quantfish and on this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials. I usually talk about multivariate statistical methods including factor analysis, structural equation modeling and latent class analysis and also sometimes about measurement and psychometrics related topics including classical test theory topics and item response theory topics. If this is something that interests you, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, don't forget to check out the description for additional resources, including courses that I teach for Quantfish. In this video, I want to address an issue that puzzles many people when they do an item analysis with classical test theory methods, specifically when they compute Cronbach's alpha and they find that Cronbach's alpha is negative. And this is something that is extremely confusing to people because Cronbach's alpha is a reliability coefficient as such by definition it should vary between 0 and 1. It is a coefficient of determination or r squared type a coefficient which indicates the squared correlation between a given scale sum score and the underlying true score variable or latent factor and so how could an r squared type measure be negative how could a reliability coefficient be negative and so that has to do with the way that statistical software programs compute Cronbach's alpha and there are situations where alpha will be negative as you can see here so here I'm using the free JASP software which allows me to run a reliability analysis I have a separate video on that if you're more interested in how to run a reliability analysis in that program here I only want to show you Cronbach's alpha and how to fix that issue. So you can see here that in this table on the right hand side, Cronbach's alpha is given as negative 0.773. And so that obviously is a value that is completely uninterpretable and doesn't make sense. And so JSP is smart enough to already realize what the problem here is. You may not get a message like that in other software programs, but JSP already tells you in the table note the following item correlated negatively with the scale Y3. So that's smart that this program already tells you that. And that's exactly what the problem is. So in this scale here, we have one indicator variable or one variable that is negatively correlated with the other variables and so we can see that by computing the correlation matrix for in this case the three variables that uh, make that make up that scale so when we click on correlation you can see this data set has three variables y1 y2 and y3 and so we can click them over into this field here and then obtain the Pearson product moment correlations in our output window and you can see Y1 and Y2 are uh, positively correlated 0.534 as it should be for items that measure a common factor but then Y3 is negatively correlated with Y1 and negatively correlated with Y2. Those are all strong correlations and the fact that Y3 is negatively correlated is what causes Cronbach's alpha to be negative. Now, how do we fix that problem? Obviously, you could get rid of Y3, but um, that may not be what you want because Y3 may still be a good indicator of the latent factor, the true score factor that underlies those three variables, it's just that this variable may be reverse coded, right? So it may be a negatively worded item, whereas the other two items may be positively worded. And so you may have an interest in keeping that item in the scale in particular because it is strongly correlated with the other two. So it's not like it's measuring something completely different. And so then we can solve this problem very easily by recoding and in JSP we actually have a very nice option that makes this very convenient for us under the reliability procedure. So I'm going back to this um, Cronbach's alpha procedure where I initially showed you Cronbach's alpha was negative 0.773 and so the nice thing about JSP is that in this reliability procedure there is an option 
for reverse scaled items. And so you can just simply indicate that Y3 should be recoded. It should be positively correlated with the other two. And so when you indicate that Y3 is the reverse scaled item, then you'll see that on the right hand side, the output file for Cronbach's alpha gets adjusted. And then the Cronbach's alpha is 0.791, which makes a lot more sense. So there's a strong reliability or relatively strong reliability, 79.1% of the variance in the composite score of those three variables is true score variance and only about 20% of the variance in the composite is error variance and that makes a lot more sense than a negative Cronbach's alpha of negative 0.77. So that's the solution to the problem is when you have a negative Cronbach's alpha, it means you have to recode some of the items or potentially get rid of some of the negatively correlated items, if that makes sense. And so this is how you can solve this problem. I hope you found this video useful to learn more about Cronbach's alpha and how to uh, resolve a problem with a negative Cronbox Alpha. If you did, then please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to check out the description for additional resources. And I'll see you next time.